Scagliola looks just like the real thing. This faux marble can be found in many stately homes across Europe, like here in Yorkshire, at the residence of Lord Harewood, a cousin of Queen Elizabeth II. Here, valuable pieces of furniture made from natural marble stand alongside Scagliola tables from the 18th century. Michael Kumbuzis has just restored them. What is real and what is not real? For example, this beautiful top, which is in, in the real verd antique marble, has been constructed in, in a number of, of smaller pieces. And so there's always, if you like, trickery that plays one's, in one's eye. Scagliola is not a fake, to my mind, is the real thing. It has become such a, an, a, a, an artistic so, sort of endeavor that these days people do prefer Scagliola to the original thing. Michael Kumbuzis was born in Greece. He moved to the northern English city of Leeds more than 30 years ago to study art. That's where he discovered Scagliola. He was fascinated by the variety of colors and patterns that can be created using the technique. Today, he's one of Britain's leading Scagliola experts. It's basically a technique whereby although it was invented in the um, early 17th century, uh, you can still these days replicate the more modern marbles as well as the antique marbles that exist out there. So basically it's a, it's a I wouldn't like to call it an imitation marble technique, but uh, as opposed to the lay person, it uh, sounds as if it, as if it is. The basis for Scagliola is a mixture of plaster and colour pigments, which can be moulded into any desired shape. It's then sanded and polished several times. This Scagliola column is destined for a manor house in Yorkshire. The heir of an old established family is having his home restored. He wants Scagliola columns to match the Siena marble of the fireplace. If you're not a connoisseur of the two materials, you won't be able to tell the difference between a Scagliola and a marble. There isn't a hell of a lot of difference, at least visually. Having said that, there's a small difference when it comes to the touch, because marble feels and is a little bit colder to the touch, while Scagliola, for example, is um, slightly warmer, slightly warmer. Producing the new columns is laborious and will cost the homeowner, Robert Staveley, around 30,000 euros. But authentic Siena marble like that used in the fireplace can no longer be found. The, the net result is just what I wanted and it, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled to miss with it. Michael Kumbuzis restores and builds Scagliola elements around the world. The faux marble was especially popular in the Baroque period. To this day, Scagliola is often used to conceal less attractive structures. Another advantage, again, of Scagliola over marble would be the fact that it's a lot lighter than marble. And therefore, at least in the past, it was used extensively on liners. Michael Kumbuzis isn't bothered when people mistake his Scagliola work on luxury yachts or in manor houses for authentic marble. He knows they will find pleasure in the colors and designs.